If you were to describe your relationship to Chinatown in one word, what would that be? Busy. Um, noisy. Meihao. Comfort. I'm 40. Nostalgia. <laughs> <laughs> This is my position for over 30 years. Welcome. Uh, our namesake, Wing An Wo, uh, means peace and safety. When people walk in here, uh, they walk into a different world. Uh, present day Chinatown to me is a bedroom community and it's multicultural. Older people, we have a park. We have a park that offers. Um, a glimpse into the community, uh, the community living room, which is Columbus Park, and they um, they play cards, they play Chinese chess, they play uh, Chinese instruments, and um, they they do karaoke, and they have a great time. I Walking Tina 但是有一点问题就是说，因为现在在这个社区里面的话，这种现象已经呃越发平常，就是它发生越来越多，有很多那些比较呃古老的一些那些店面什么的，他们现在都已经被替代的话呢，这就感觉像是一个社区它正在被
but now um, just been the one year the now the um, Amy Lee project and her father's button shop uh, has become an ice cream shop. I think that uh, there is this long history of um, the community pushing back against discrimination and racism and creating their own um, support systems and I think that what you see are seeing now is um, you know a, a intentional um, plan to erase and um, uh, destroy these communities. I think every artist would like to think that they can make an impact through their work, but um, quite honestly, I feel like um, cultural activism has a lot more to do with artists as activists, as organizers. Uh, that we're here to win hearts and minds, and art can, art can do that. Um, art can move people, and Art can make people feel very passionately about something uh, and inspired to, to act. But I don't think the art alone you know, is, is powerful enough to, to make that change happen. It has to be the people and it has to be a movement. Being so uh, in the company of young artists who are so brave and courageous in letting their insides out you know, in uh, journalism, in uh, their art, and whatever medium they feel they can express their innards to the world. You know, to be amongst and be in the company of those who are so brave is uh, very inspiring to, to me. Uh, thank God for my sisters who were my surrogate moms. Uh, they filled me up with uh, care, love, uh, treasure, and cherish. And that uh, was my survival. And I believe uh, my oldest sister and second sister in my family uh, were uh, responsible for the survival of my, my family's assimilation uh, in this community. Um, with all of that um, goodness, I received from the woman in my life. Uh, I was able to <sighs> I was able to offer it to my daughters and um, as I say, I'm very proud of them, and I it it uh, thus far has has been my most esteemable role as a parent. Having the conversation about identity, who you think you are, who I think I am, who I think the world thinks I am, and where do I belong? Do I belong in Chinatown? Do I belong outside of Chinatown? Where do I feel at home? So these questions are universal.